Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194 and appreciate you taking the time out of your day to visit and check out my video. And as you can see, we're doing something a little different today. Um, I've had a few uh, requests as far as my uh, view settings in ACC and also my graphic settings in ACC. So we're going to go over those. I haven't shown those in a long time and um, I'm not even sure if I've shown them since I've gotten this PC about a year ago. So... I figured it's good to update them, and I change, you know, you change this and change that, and I'll try to help out and, and give you tips as far as what um, helps with frames, what hurts with frames, and things like that. It's just my settings that I use. I'm really happy with them. I really have them pretty close to what pretty much the best they've been as far as consistency and um, you know the balance between performance and quality. So first we're going to go over of course my pc my pc is like i said i've had it for about a year um it is an alienware aurora r10 um I'm, I'm, like i said i've never had a really review on it or anything i mean it's been a good pc and uh it's got the 3950x amd processor in it it's got the ram is 3466 um with 64 gigabytes and it's got the RTX 3090 uh, video card, Navita video card. Um, so that, um, those are the main things. So, uh, and like I said, I'm really happy with it. I mean, it's had a few things. And there's a few, you know, there's some negatives with it too. But it's, for the most part, it's been good. Um, so saying that, and also the monitor. Well, it's, uh, my monitor is a monitor slash TV. It's an LG C10 OLED monitor slash TV uh, 65 inch and basically it has the 2.1 HDMI ports on it so you you know with if you have a 30 series card or the newer AMD card you can if you have the proper cable which you have to get a proper cable to do that you basically have to have the cable go over to uh, you know to hook it up to the TV and you get the full uh, 120 Hertz refresh rate so that's what this has. Its maximum refresh rate with that cable is 120 hertz. Um, now it does have G-Sync compatible, so it does have G-Sync in it also. So I also have that also. So that's enabled. So basically, let's go first to my Navita settings, to my control panel. Okay, so here we are in the, my control panel. Now, I wanted to go over these first, and then we'll go over the, my graphics settings, you know, by itself in that. So, basically, here, I have, right here, I have, this is my selected in my control panel. I use my preference emphasizing quality. So, that pretty much maxes out everything uh, for quality that you can have. Um, so, it puts it way up there. So, basically, then you go to configure that. And basically, when you set a quality, it just sets it a lot of the stuff to ought to uh, a certain setting, like uh, sharpening off, scaling, disabled. Um, of course, the filtering it's eight times. FXAA is off. All these kind of things. A lot of these things are just preset. Analyzing is four times. Um, I did change the low latency mode to ultra. So that I wanted um, in the course of the CUDA cores as far as the GPUs all. Um, and then, of course, I put the max frame rate at 117, which is also I have in the game. Again, I was told that basically a few a couple frames under your max frame rate is what is best. So that's what I changed it in the game and also uh, in my control panel. Of course, it is G-Sync compatible, so again, I have that. Um, and basically, power management is normal, which actually, that should be... That should be prefer maximum performance. So, that should be maximum performance, which I just hit apply. Okay, so that, that, that should have been that. So, that's maximum performance. Um, and of course, the preferred refresh rate for the LG electronics is I put highest available. I change that to highest available, and that helps also. And then of course, uh, you know, quality—it's on quality, 
threaded optimization is auto and of course vertical sync is 3d application setting which i could just turn it to off because i never use v-sync v-sync is basically like before g-sync and the uh you know, free sync and all that kind of stuff. It's basically, if it's under 60 frames, it really doesn't do any good. If you're if you're 90, 100 and something frames, then it really, V-Sync is no good. So, you might as well shut it off. So, basically, that is all my settings here in the control panel. And so, again, I have them at, you know, pretty high. Why does it keep doing that there? Um, so, basically, they all set to quality. So now let's jump in the game, and we'll go ahead and go over all those individual settings. So here we are in ACC. So let's go ahead and jump into, go to options, and of course go to video. And here are my graphic settings. Now what I do, this is just me, um, I have three different settings here in my basically in my uh, saves here. I got Epic 1, H, High 1, and High 2. And basically, it's just a step down each time. And so like Epic 1, I might use for just one car, like if I'm practicing or I'm doing a hot stint or whatever, maybe. Um, and it's you know got everything pretty high. And then, of course, the High 1 is just a step down from that. And this is actually what I use probably 80, 90% of the time. I just leave it on that because it looks good, it performs good, and I don't have to change stuff. Uh, high 2 would be for something that maybe has a lot, a lot of cars, a real big field, and has a few more uh, things turned down so I can still keep my performance up. So again, let's go to High 1. And of course, you know, here we go. We'll start at the top. And of course, I got the 3840 by 2160. And of course, like I said, V-Sync is disabled. And of course, my frame rate limit, just like I did, showed you in the control panel, is the same. Um, and of course, uh, my menu frame rate limiter is disabled because I, you know, I want as many frames in my menus just like I do in the game. So basically, it's the same thing. Uh, of course, triple screen HDR. HDR is disabled. Now I do have HDR on this. TV slash monitor, but um, I just don't like the way it looks in ACC. I just, I don't know. I mean, it's just, again, it's just my personal preference, but I just don't really like the way it just does. It looks okay, but uh, just looks maybe a little bit too saturated. So I just disable it, and it's not worth the hit anyway. Um, so here we go here with the basic the basic settings. We got 90% and the resolution, and that's definitely some frames for sure. Um, now my epic is set at a hundred, so that's one of the differences between epic and the high setting in my settings. But that is definitely makes some some difference there. Uh, view distance is epic. Shadows. Any of these shadow settings will make a difference. Uh, shadows I have at high, and if you turn it to epic, you probably could take a good 10 to 15 frame hit. Um, on that and when you certain tracks in ACC of course way the sun is and the way the uh, trees are you know they have a, some tracks have higher shadows or more shadows than others so what this does if you have it at epic is you know I could be doing 105 110 frames and then it would drop to 70 something like in an instant and that's when you get a stutter, or a lot of times I call them micro stutters. And uh, I hate that. So I just turn it on high because I don't see that big of a difference in the performance. It's so much smoother. So I just turn it to high. Uh, shadows dis distance is epic. Of course, contact shadows is enabled. Any lacing is epic. Um, of course, the type is KTAA. And, you know, temporal, I haven't really tried too much. I've played with it a little bit and it seems about the same it looks really good also but it just um you know usually you get more ghosting with that with temporal that's what i found out but it seems like with this with my newer with the 30 series card it's not as bad as it was with my 1080 ti or the 2080 ti that i had in my other uh pcs so basically um I just keep it a KTAA for now. 
Uh, effects are epic. Um, post processing is epic. Now, in a high two, I have it at high. So I turn this down in my high two setting. And again, that makes a little bit of a difference. You know, it's a few frames. Uh, foliage is high, which in my high two, I have it at mid. And again, you know, we're not talking that big a difference. Maybe a few frames. Um, textures epic, I think, on both of them. Uh, mirror distance, which makes a distance, make, makes a difference. And of course, mirror mirror quality is mid, and mirror frame rate limit is auto, and all that. And I mean, to me, all this, I I don't really care about how sharp my mirror looks as far as you know what's in there, as long as I can see it and see what's going on. That's really all I care about. Um, so, uh, and of course, opponent's visibility is 19, which is most of the time, most fields are about that size or smaller. Um, and if this is a little bit bigger, so you don't see the last few cars, it's not that big a deal. Um, so next is advanced, which this one, the materials quality is probably the highest drain on your frames is materials quality. If you have it at Epic, it can, it can knock your frames a good 30, good 20 to 30 frames. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a beast. I mean, this thing will really knock it down. So, I mean, high is good. Um, Epic, I think I have it on my Epic setting. I think I have it at Epic, but I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, I think I might even have, still have it on high because again, it doesn't, to me, it, it, it's makes it a little nicer looking, but the differences are so minute, at least at 4k that I don't really, the, you know, the performance is too big a hit. Uh, of course, on temporal and sampling is enabled. Bloom quality is high. Now, a lot of times I actually have this on mid because it's not that, you know, like I said, my settings at high, but a lot of times you get that sparkle or that flash or whatever, like, you know, the, when you're on a paint, you know, you got your high, your headlights on somebody's car and it's, it's, you know, basically like a flashing and things like that or blinking. And I don't like that. It's just, it's too distracting and too annoying. So a lot of times I actually turn the bloom quality down to mid and that helps a little bit also on your frames. Nothing big, but maybe a few. But um, then, of course, fog is low, which, you know, are usually not in the fog anyway. And, of course, this the high lot or whatever you want to call it, basically, uh, H lot is basically enabled. And that's basically just, it. you know, cars are at a farther distance away. It, you know, takes some of the resolution out of it. So it, it keeps your performance up. And uh, so that's, you know, pretty much no big deal to me since, you know, it's, it's only for stuff that's at a distance. Uh, advanced Sharpen Filter is disabled. And uh, basically, I think Ares disables his and uh, the one of the devs in Kunos. He has his disabled, so I just disabled it also. Um, saturation is 110. White balance, I go between warm and neutral. I don't know, it just depends a lot of times what I like as far as what it looks like. But most of the time, I just leave it here on warm. And sharpness is 90%. And I think I have it at high, too, it's at 80%. And, of course, the dirt effect, I got it down to 1.0. And just you get less dirt on the windscreen, which, I, you know, I like the effect. It looks really cool. But, you know, you get so much of it, I don't want it to distract me from the driving or it just gets irritating. So I just turn it down a little bit. And, I, you know, I mean, that might make a little bit of a difference, but not much. So, again, that's all. Um, the rest of the settings are the normal. And, um, and of course, um, like I said, I use this for, like, 90% of the time. So let's go ahead and get into the game. I'll just jump in this wherever I was messing with. So this is at Silverstone. And you can see um, up here in the corner, if you can see it, I have it very small so it doesn't stand out. But even, you know, right now, which usually when you're in replay mode, you know, it's a pretty high hit as far as your frames because you're, like, outside the car and there's a lot of things it's, it's actually processing. Um, and it's still maxed out. I'm at 117 right now. And that's with, you know, basically it, it's showing everything. So um, usually it stays on my high one setting. It usually stays 
within a few frames. It doesn't drop more than usually five frames. Um, so it usually stays really pretty high, and I like that. It's, it keeps it really smooth and to where you can't even hardly notice uh, anything jumping in or anything stuttering, which, like I said, I call it micro stutters. But anyway, let's jump in the car. Green light, green light. Go, go, go. And let's go ahead and start with um, the views. So, again, I hit escape. And you bring the menu up here and basically go down to view settings right here. And this is my for my camera. And of course, you know, your height and all those kinds of things are custom to each car. Your distance, a lot of times the distance is just moving the camera a little bit. So, you know, you can be in the right position as far as, uh, you know, the A pillar and things like that. Of course, my FOV is always 36 always on, on all my cars and of course you you know the pitch and again I want to I keep try to keep the same kind of um, where my hands and steering wheel and dash all are in about the same position in each car so that's that motion okay motion we got lock look uh, lock to horizon is zero movement is a hundred percent and then of course dash cam factor zero. Okay, and this is the look with wheel. This is what you get. I get a lot of ask about that. And again, it's forty six percent. And that's when you're turning the wheel, you look with it. You know, if you turn the wheel more, you're gonna look more. Um, I wish that this was per car s setting, but it's not. So if you set this, this gonna this is gonna work on every car at forty six. And sometimes I wish it'd be a little more or a little less. Um, in certain cars but I try to find a happy medium so I can keep it the same in every car um, and then what I do is with the camera I can adjust my movement if I need to if I have an A pillar that's blocking me or just you know in my way with certain cars or that way certain cars it's just irritating because the A pillar is just in the wrong spot um, but uh, that is the motion um, and again, you know, there's not a wrong way or right way. It's not, you know, it's just the way I'm used to it because I'm used to when I was, you know, in a real car, you know, I like looking through the corner, I like looking through the turn and I don't like even when I'm sim racing, I don't want to just look right in front of me and not look when I'm turning the wheel. I mean, if I'm turning the wheel to going through a corner, I want to be able to look through the corner just like I would in, in real life. And again, so that's just my preference because that's what I'm used to. Uh, when I'm at the track, um, that's how I am. So I try to simulate that when I am sim racing. Um, so, and of course, you know, wheel and dash. I got both driver and wheel or both. Um, so, because I like, I actually tried it before. I know a lot of guys, not a big YouTubers do it that way. They don't even show this at all. And basically just show the dash and all that. And that's okay. I'm not saying that's bad. But, I mean, I'll be honest, I, I prefer to see the wheel and the hands. I just, I don't know. I guess I'm old-fashioned. I kind of like that. But that's just me. Um, it don't bother me. So, I, I kind of like it. Um, and, I mean, of me watching, I kind of like it. I'd rather watch that, too, than just watching just the dash and nothing else. Uh, but I'm sure that saves in performance also. So, I'm sure it does. And, of course, uh, you know, this is a mirror quality stuff. Um, but, you know, mirror FOV is 90 so, which there, put it back to 90. Uh, of course, triple screen and all that is all, nothing is selected. So, those are all my settings in my view. So, of course, I don't need to save anything. So, I sure hope that that helps and uh, anything like that, any questions or any feedback is always welcome. And I sure hope you give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And thank you to all my supporters that watch my videos and comment and, and you know, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, and, and have contributed to PayPal. I thank you so very much. And I sure hope you come back and visit again really soon. Y'all take care. See ya.